Patsajeros y les hay Tuagalapu de Ishid, Carl Lorton Tizda. I come from uh, the Chinook Indian Nation and I'm enrolled with the Quinault Indian Nation. I come from a line of uh, fishermen and boat builders and that's in my heritage and I'm pretty proud of that. I'm also the skipper of our canoe here, uh, Chief Leshai, which is a really uh, honorable, proud thing for me to be involved with. My name is Madison Rivera. My tribe is Piala. My name is Luisa Lucero, and I'm part of the Piala tribe. My name is Jordan Suari. Um, I'm 10th grade, and I go Chief Leshai, Omaha tribe. Uh, my name is Tamim and I am from the Omaha tribe. We, we have our, our captain, who is Bina McLeod, who takes care of everything. And so her role is not only everything, but she takes care of everything on the land and everything on the water is my responsibility. I guess to be closer to my Native American side, because honestly, I don't I don't feel Native American though I am. And I guess that's the main reason why. I wanted to paddle for my tribe and my uncle, because he used to do the canoe journey before he passed away. My sister signed up for it and she asked me if I wanted to go and I've already been on the canoe journey before so I decided to go. Originally I did not want to go uh, because this was like apparently the first year that we were doing canoe journey uh, as school was happening and you know I just wanted to stay focused with school you know I just wanted to get work done but my dad, he was dead set on having me and my brother Jordan go, so we went and I enjoyed it very much. We take off in the morning. We only had four paddles this time, and um, so that means four, four of the students are going to ask for permission to leave and ask for permission to come ashore. And each one of those roles are, are very important. And I know our kids here that if I tell them the night before that, hey, you're gonna, you're gonna ask for permission to leave in the morning, they're not gonna get on that canoe because they're gonna be scared to death. And so literally when you see us out there in the water getting ready to leave, I'm leaning over and saying, hey, you wanna ask for permission to leave ashore? And we had two young gals that had just came to us about a month ago and scared to death and so she would stand up in the canoe and I would tell her kind of what to say and that was that was super empowering to hear her speak and her voice and she asked for permission to leave I think it was up in Lummi and that was the most we heard her talk the whole time so the ability to give her that that voice was amazing and something that I thought was important about being out there in the Salish Sea was getting to hear other people's experiences with being out there, getting to hear other people's stories, what they're passionate about. Everyone cared about each other, helped out each other, respected. I can tell they wanted to be there. They weren't just doing it for the hell of it, they were just, they actually felt passionate about what they were doing and they really liked doing it. And then there was like a lot of smiles on people's faces. And I could tell they were having fun. I've been skipper of this canoe for, I think this is our seventh journey we've been on. It's the first time we've gone during the school year. Um, for those who saw it, they understand, for those who didn't, can only hear about it. And I, I can't even tell you how good it felt for this, these kids who don't speak a lot, and they spoke. They spoke in ways that 
they don't speak here at school. They speak out there amongst uh, paddlers and pullers and aunties and uncles and family. And it's a pretty proud moment when you can get, I, I told of a victory, you know, of our kids speaking. Um, I, I was pretty emotional there at Lummi towards the end. And <laughs> I'm glad I made it through that because it was very emotional. And uh, kind of got put on the spot there at the end there, but it worked out well. And when we left that shore at that time, when we paddled away, it was real quiet. The kids weren't talking at all until we got up around the corner and then they started, you could kind of see them go like this a little bit. And they were pretty proud of what they had done. And that's how they were speaking, you know, and it was, it was amazing. I enjoyed it very much to the point where I, I would like to go again. I would do it again. I'm doing it again, 100%. <laughs> uh, hello, I'm his brother. <laughs> Favorite meal? Uh, probably the fry bread and stew they made. Oh, actually, um, it was fried bread, potato salad, and beans. The hamburger soup and fried bread. <laughs> <laughs> 